up everything is in the u-haul and i had my like little moment last night where i was like balling tears because i was like i really don't want to be new york but i do feel like this next chapter is gonna be fire um so yeah you know i'm always like okay but then i and then i thought i was like new york is only a flight away so it's okay like it is okay i'm leaving today but i'll literally be back next week for an entire week um i have clients here um to do so i'm booked up for that week and have like a little party to go to that weekend and then i'm going to meet up with some friends and it's going to be fun so i'm like you know what it's okay farewell new york for residency wise and hello to being a visitor <laughs> So yeah, the, the U-Haul is like packed up and stuff. Um, I am actually about to cook, like try to cook the rest of the food that's in the refrigerator, um, eat breakfast, pack lunch, and uh, hit the road. I'm waiting for the owner to come. Um, he's coming at noon, and we're just gonna do like a quick walkthrough. Um, and yeah, Nalapu. You ready to go to a new home, baby girl? Think that I'm ready to go, mama. Think I'm ready to go. <laughs> and like, this is like all the food that I'm literally trying to cook. So I have like some eggs. So I'm gonna make some French toast. I'm gonna make some turkey bacon. Um, I am going to French toast, eggs, and turkey bacon, yeah. I got the jerk sauce out because I love putting jerk sauce in my eggs. So good. Jerk sauce and feta cheese. Y'all, I'm telling you, it's lit. And then, of course, like some red peppers, onions, and green peppers in my eggs. And then my turkey bacon and French toast. Um, uh, I was low-key trying to, like, savor my seasonings because seasonings don't be cheap, y'all. So I think I'm going to try to save it and put it in, like, one of these bags because I'm like, I'm not about to waste no good old seasoning. That I just bought, literally. And yeah. Look, I already got some lunches packed. I already kind of cooked yesterday. I got rice and chicken. I got like um, a shrimp wrap. Look, we lit, y'all. <laughs>
I had already started eating, so don't judge my little concoction. But we got some French toast, some eggs, and some turkey bacon. Everything is empty, so I'm, I'm uh, eating on this floating chef. <laughs> so after I'm done eating, I'm just gonna clean up just a little bit more and get on up. And now that so now that everything is cleared out, we're gonna do a quick um, NYC apartment tour. This is where I've been living for the past year, y'all, and this is what you get for twenty three hundred dollars a month in New York. <laughs> this is the front door, which is a really nice, actually, front door. Believe it or not, um, and the AC and stuff. All right, central AC. You know, everybody doesn't have central AC, so I was blessed. Um, these are like the open pipes, like kind of like open pipes at the top. And this was my closet. So I did have a, a little bit, a lot of space of closet space, which is really rare because I typically, like in my last apartment, I did not have a lot of closet space. So this was my closet. <laughs> And I had like a little mirror built in right there. And then my favorite part, this is my bathroom. I had sliding doors. <laughs> I had like a true NYC traditional like bathroom. Um, <laughs> the floors, which I thought was super cute and unique and different. Um, these were my walls, which I absolutely loved. And my floors were heated, so this is where you control the temperature of the floor. And it was like heated all in this area right here. Um, I have a little cabinet, which was like super cute. I really love this. I really actually appreciated and loved my bathroom. I wish I would have did more content in here, but it's cool. And then this was my shower. Absolutely loved my shower. The only thing I didn't really like, obviously, is the stained tub. Uh, I don't know what they're gonna do about that, but they're gonna have to fix that because they didn't fix it for me when I moved up in here. And then mirror. I just love how it's just mirrors everywhere. It's mirror, mirror, mirrors. And then, yeah, that is my bathroom. Nice size bathroom, by the way. Come on, Nalapu. Come on, baby. Coming in, and this is the entire space. This is the kitchen. Had tons of cabinet space, which is something that I could say that I truly appreciated because it didn't have a lot of cabinet space in my last apartment. And then um, we have a dishwasher, which a lot of apartments in New York don't have a dishwasher, so I appreciated that. This cute little um, interesting backsplash. I actually really appreciate it. I thought it was super cute. Um, had an electric stove, had a microwave, had a refrigerator with an ice maker, which is rare in New York City as well for the price of my apartment unit. My camera is like, this G7X Mark III is some bullshit. But um, so yeah, this is the kitchen. Nice size kitchen. I did have a kitchen island that I got from Ikea that I recently just sold on Facebook Marketplace. I'm telling you that guys, that shit is legit. So I got this rod from Amazon Prime and I also got this curtain from Amazon Prime and I used this to divide my sleeping area slash living area and my workspace. So this is where I had like my salon chair and my workspace set up the mirror and things of that nature. So when clients come, I would do hair right here. And then I had the TV. Then I had the TV, what the fuck? Then I had the TV right here on this wall um, along with um, a table. And then over here was my bed. I had ended up like moving my bed in different areas. Um, well, in different angles or whatever the case may be. So I had my bed over here. I had like a table and then I had like my wardrobe rack over here. And I didn't have a TV over here. Why is my fucking car? Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? I didn't have a TV on this side of the apartment, but I did have my projector hanging up up here and I will watch TV on this wall. So, 
yeah this is my nyc empty apartment tour now that i am leaving this is the front this was my view my one and only view because i literally only had one window but what i've also really appreciated about what the fuck camera are you fucking serious but what i really did appreciate about this unit is even though it didn't have like a lot of light source it had a lot of light coming up in here just to have one or two windows and that's mainly because i had a sunroof light so like right now there's absolutely no lights on in here except by the front door but there's no lights on in here and it's bright as hell and that's also what i actually really like um but we're looking for well for my next apartment i'm looking for something with more natural lighting oh this, this light looks good but i'm looking for something with a little lot of bit of more natural lighting but yeah this was lit i appreciated it when i moved in i what the fuck you're so annoying come on nice come on camera when I moved in, I originally had these walls painted white so that way it can open up the space more because originally the walls were like yellow and blue and I thought that was hideous. So um, luckily the owner did not complain about me painting the walls. And yeah, and of course, another thing I really appreciated was the exposed brick. Exposed brick, no carpet, the floors were amazing. They get dirty really, really, really fast but of course it's amazing so i really appreciate this apartment um but like i said this is what you get in new york city for twenty three hundred dollars but now that we're moving to good old atlanta georgia we're about to see what we can get for about two thousand dollars in atlanta um because this right here baby just on enough space like i gotta you gotta check up the deuces nala who you ready nala Nala? Hey, Nala Kubier. Say hi. Say hi. Oh, my Nala Kubier. Um, now we're about to go just drop off the Wi Fi box and hit the road. July 13, 2021, and it finally marks our fifth week post stop LiPo 360 BBL. Y'all, it has been a little, honestly, it's been like a little fast journey because time literally flew by. I just remembered, it felt like yesterday that I was feeling like crap for the early move, and now I'm five weeks post stop. I'm very mobile. I'm able to get in and out of my car. I'm using my BBL pillow. Yes, I still have some swelling. Yes, I still have to go through like them itching phases or whatnot, but that's just all a part of the healing process, and it's literally a process that I feel that is like well worth it. So, like I said, today marks our fifth week um, post stop anniversary. <laughs> so, you know, I've been wearing my foams and boards twenty realistically about like twenty two seven, right? And they say like after six weeks, you can wear just your faja by itself for twelve hours out of the day, and then you know wear your foams and boards for the other twelve hours out of the day. So, you know, I plan on, after my six weeks, still wearing my thumbs and my boards the majority of the time throughout the day, especially if I'm not going nowhere. But I, I could not wait to get to the point where I was just wearing my faja. So today, I know I'm a week early, but I feel like everybody's body is different and my body is healing very well and really pretty, like, pretty freaking fast. So I figured, you know, today I just go ahead, shower, do my hair a little bit, do my makeup a little bit, and go run some errands, throw on an actual outfit, because I've been wearing like sweats and t-shirts for like the past couple of days. Um, throw on an actual outfit, and just wear my faja, and see like how my body reacts to that. So um, that's what I'm gonna be doing today, and your girl is looking so bad, okay? Y'all, I'm telling you, like, this BBL Lipo 360 shit is like, Super stressful, very annoying, very agitating. 
Um, but you just have to have like patience because baby girl, it's worth it. I'm telling you, it's worth it. Cause when you look in the mirror and you see like that body that you like always wanted, it's kind of just like, angels that came <laughs> dr. Fisher was an angel that desperately saved me okay um, but yeah so I am currently in Atlanta Georgia um, if you guys watch my last vlog then you know that I moved to Atlanta so I am here um, right now I've been here for like a couple days I'm staying with my best friend um, here in Buckhead and um, I'm gonna just like you know take my time within like these next like two three weeks to like do apartment hunting and um, really just like get to know the area and figure out like where I want to stay so that way I didn't move here you know with like no regrets like I want to be like happy and like, confident in like my decision so yeah um, luckily my best friend allowed me to stay here you know what I'm saying and, and take my time and you know what I'm saying figure it the fuck out so um, yeah we're about to go to the mall because I need some more like loungewear I don't have any loungewear like I said I've been wearing the same splits and t-shirt um, since I've been here so I'm gonna go to the mall give me like some loungewear some cute active wear and some like everyday shoes that I can just run around in and um, yeah <laughs> yeah okay so I know y'all probably like well, what the better yet? Let me see the body. Let me see the body. So I'm about to show y'all. I'm about to prop. I'm about to go back inside, prop the camera up, and show y'all what it's giving. Send me the look and I'll be right there. Let me come check 